Hey guys, how you doing? All right, um, back with an update. We are now back in Maryland. Hot straws and liquor. Come back to you with some thoughts. Well, real quick, I cut my freaking finger open because we had this 80 mile an hour wind and there's metal jabbed through my finger. Probably should go to the hospital. Not going to do it. It's a finger. Don't need a stitch. You just put some dirt in it and keep going. So back to this Gabby case. Ted and I were talking about this right from the beginning. Why did nobody question what path or what route, what road he took to come home from where they were camping? Because looking at that now and what we were talking about a couple days ago, Ted and I both said originally he didn't go camping. It was an exfil. It was a, it was a it was a military grade dump and run and bait and switch. They did that. He's got unconfirmed uh, spottings up in Alabama. Let's go. Follow that road. That's going to lead you to him. He's out there. He knows those camping sites already. They already did it. He can't hide, but he can hide where places that he knows. It's already been proven. Follow the route. That'll lead you to him. It's that simple. There's a lot of other questions, but that's the one that nobody's talking about. They're too scared to speculate. Don't be scared. Follow the science. That's what we've been told the whole entire time. Science tells me the parents are garbage. He's a garbage. Let's go. Follow him. Follow the campsites. He will be found. Mark my words. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate the support. We'll come back with more thoughts. Peace.